Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Join me here today with my Mark V GTI, visiting my friends up here in Sheffield at Cobra Sport UK. You guys may remember actually fairly on in my M140i ownership, I visited these guys uh, for some exhaust work and that's exactly what we're doing today with the Mark V Golf GTI. Of course, unlike the M140i, this has no OBF filter so we don't have to worry about that. And essentially today, what we're doing is replacing it with the iconic Cobra Sport catback. I'll go into more detail about the kind of exhaust which I've gone for, whether I've gone for res or non-res, a uh, bit of a spoiler, non-res obviously, but also the style of the tips as well because there's loads of different options which you can go for. Um, so yeah, really excited to finally be doing some proper things to this car, of course. Uh, it does have a simple stage one on it, done by my friends down at QS Tuning, uh, basically just for drivability purposes, went from around 200 horsepower up to 250, but we're gonna be slightly unlocking some more noise for this car with the Cobra Sport catback. And so I think without further hesitation, I understand the guys wanna get it straight in the workshop on the ramp to get it done. So I think without further ado, we'll get that done and get a new exhaust on the Mark V GTI. Okay, so the car is on its way into the workshop. Last few meters with the stock exhaust on. Definitely an exhaust which I do not intend on fitting back, of course, once the Cobra system is installed. Like I said, this is just the cap back. We're leaving the downpipe alone, at least for now. I do have some plans, um, maybe somewhere down the line with doing something with that. But first proper modifications to the car, getting situated on the ramp, and then, um, yeah, well, the strip down will begin taking the stock exhaust off, and then, of course, It'll be time to fit the new one. Okay, so whilst the original exhaust is being taken off the GTI for one final time, never going back on, I can tell you that right now, <laughs> we have my new one all laid out out the front. So like I mentioned, we've gone for a catback system. So we're not even touching anything to do with the downpipe for now. Catback basically from the cat back. So this is a midsection, of course, non-resonated as well. So we don't have any resonator kind of here. In fact, on the stock system, it's actually quite a big resonator. I didn't actually realize. And going back to the back box, we can see we've gone for the slash cut tips with the Cobra uh, etching on the top of them. Of course, sticking with the dual exit, um, I didn't really want to go for the R32 style that's been done a lot, um, especially on non-R32s anyway, um, but does look cool on some cars. Now this is a three inch bore all the way through, as far as I'm aware, and it's been TIG welded as well. As you can see some awesome welds on this. These guys make some epic, epic exhausts. I mean, going from my standard 140 to what it sounds like now, it is night and day. Of course, you have all the brackets and everything here, and it's all fully made from stainless steel as well. So I think what we'll do, we'll get this very, very quickly in the workshop again and get it fitted as soon as possible, because I'm really, really excited to uh, basically listen to this thing, definitely take it for a drive. Got a long old drive home, and I think it's definitely gonna be a lot more fun than the drive up this morning. But like I said, yeah, slash cut tips on this looking epic. Okay, so we're now back into the workshop, now reunited with the car, now with the new exhaust all fully fitted. Here is the uh, original one. You can see quite a lot of surface for us. That is the original resonator, of course, the back box and the original uh, dual exit. You can see going under the car now, apologies for the sound, it's very, very loud in here. Of course, it is an active workshop. You can see the new system installed under here. You can see the larger bore, of course, it's clamped onto the OEM, um, rest of the mid pipe going up to the cats. So we've left that all for now. But under here, we have the new cat back for the car, the three inch stainless steel system all installed. We can see the signature Cobra logos all down the exhaust and actually on the back box as well. Coming up under here, we of course have the lovely new shiny exhaust tips, the slash cut tips, looking absolutely epic, of course, remaining with the, um, the standard location. We didn't go R32 style. I'm really not really a fan of that, like I mentioned, but all nice and shiny. Now, actually, you guys may remember when we did the detailing of the car, Mike over at Connings did an awesome job of the car, but there wasn't really much that could be done with the original tips. Of course, just actually quite pitted and, well, quite damaged, really. Obviously, haven't really been maintained over the car's life, and so we're kind of 
too far gone almost, um, but that is no more. This is now gonna be scrapped basically because it's of no use to anyone. And of course now we have the new system. So I think what we'll do, we'll get it all off the ramp outside. We'll do a sound check because I did get some clips before of the exhaust stock compare it to what it is now before going out on the road for the first time on my long journey back down south. So there we have it then, the Cobra Sport catback now fitted to the car. I've just rolled some of the before and after clips for startup as the revs sound so much better. And actually you do get some nice little burbles now actually. The tips just look so much better. I'm really glad I went for the slash cut tips. Um, those are definitely, I think, the popular choice um, for the whole range of the Cobra exhaust. But a massive thank you to the guys once again here at Cobra Sport UK. It's good to, to come down, catch up again, because it's been a while since, we, uh, since I've been up here, thanks to the obvious, and also um, because I've been having too much fun with the M140i. I think it is going to be a bit of a, a running trend, actually, that all my cars seem to have a Cobra exhaust on them. So I'm sure it won't be too long until we're back, especially with the Golf R. But what I will do, I will leave the link for that exhaust down in the description down below. But I think what we're gonna do for now, I need to start my three hour trip back down south. So we'll load up some GoPros and get kind of a, a first impressions, actually, because I'm sure that when we get some load uh, out of the exhaust, it's going to sound incredible. Let's do it. <laughs> the DSG farts on this now are a lot more pronounced. Now before it was quite muted and it is still a very deep tone on the Mark V GTI. It is quite tricky to actually um, portray that on camera sometimes, at least what I've found in some uh, previous videos. But uh, we are now joining the M1 southbound. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a little riot this car, it really is. Absolutely love it. Of course running the stage one from QH tuning, 250 brake, but now with a little bit more sound, thanks to the guys up at Cobra Sport. It's always nice to go and catch up with them there. I've known them for a while, we've done some bits, um, and we'll be doing some more bits very soon um, on the Golf R, of course. Um, some more of that coming soon. Um, but yeah, we've got a long old trip back now. About three hours due to get back later on today. Obviously, I don't know why it would take me more than one day. <laughs> um, you can tell I've been driving for the majority of today anyway, because I'm going bonkers. Um, quite an interesting um, a bit of timing, actually. A bit of a story for you. Hang on. Um, so this car actually had its MOT uh, a couple of days ago, actually. And on the MOT, I think the only advisory was there's some slight telltale signs of some slight exhaust blowing on the cat back. How convenient. Um, of course, this is already booked. In fact, it's been booked for quite a while to, for me to come up uh, and get the exhaust done today. Um, but, but yeah, quite an unusual timing. So of course, don't need to worry about that for the next year's MOT um, because uh, we've nice, got a nice new exhaust. But anyway, I think that's pretty much gonna round things up for me today. I mean, I'm on the M1 now, I'm on this road for like, 100 miles um, and won't really be very exciting for any sort of sound clips or anything so in a future video with the mark 5 we'll we'll do some things properly get some proper sound clips and go and have some proper fun but at least for me i've now got a three hour drive back down south which is not going to be very exciting so i'll leave you here um, i hope you guys have enjoyed anyway um, some first proper bits to the mark 5 there's going to be a lot more coming um, if everything all goes to plan um, albeit it has slow Slightly been delayed a little bit purely because a lot of focus is being put to the Mark 7 Golf R. But like I said, a big thank you to the guys over at Cobra Sport. All their links can be found in the description down below, along with the actual exhaust, which is on this car now. But at least for me, that's going to wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.